Sri Lanka's president flees the country, along with other members of his family, following mass protests. <laughs> Demonstrators blame him for the economic crisis that's crippled the country, leaving it short of funds to buy medicines or fuel. It's 7 a.m. here in Singapore and 4.30 a.m. in Sri Lanka, where in just the last half an hour, the BBC has confirmed that Sri Lanka's president, Gotabaya Rajapaksa, has left the country amid mass protests over its economic crisis and landed in the Maldives. Now, Mr. Rajapaksa left aboard a military jet, ending a family dynasty that has ruled the country for decades. He'd been in hiding, you'll remember, after crowds stormed his residence on Saturday. Now, his brother, former finance minister, Basil Rajapaksa, has also left the country, sources have told the BBC. President Rajapaksa had promised to resign, but by remaining in position, he kept his immunity from prosecution. Many Sri Lankans blame him for the economic crisis, which has crippled their country, leaving it short of funds to buy medicines or fuel. Well, our correspondent, Regini Vaidyanathan, was with protesters outside the presidential palace in Colombo when the news of President Rajapaksa's departure was made public. Well, there's a real party atmosphere here at Colombo's seafront, Gullface Green, which has been a protest site for many weeks. And one of the main demands protesters had was for President Gotabaya Rajapaksa to go. Their slogan, their chant was go home Gota. Well, we now know that President Gotabaya Rajapaksa has left the country. He fled on a military jet with members of his family. We don't know where exactly he is headed to. He's been in hiding for the last few days. Ever since his home, his official residence, was overrun by protesters. And it wasn't just his official residence. In fact, just over there, his presidential secretariat, the presidential offices, his administrative office, that was also overrun by protesters. And you can see the aftermath here now, because days on, there are protesters who are sleeping in the grounds here and on the steps. Now, we also know that the president's brother, Basil Rajapaksa, former finance minister, has also left the country. He's believed to be heading to America. Now, where does this leave the president? Well, he still hasn't, as of now, stepped down from his post. He is due to hand in his resignation. That's what's being expected on Wednesday. If he does, then that will create a vacancy for a president to run this country, and there'll be a process in Parliament to decide who his replacement is. Um, all of this, though, is part of a wider concern. We're still in the middle of an economic crisis here in Sri Lanka, where people are struggling for food and medicines and fuel. And this queue, you can just see it going all the way down here. Well, people here are queuing up for free bread and curry because people are struggling to get hold of the basics. But news of President Rajapaksa's departure from this country, well, that's still filtering in here. I spoke to one person here who said he was relieved and pleased. But another woman said she felt that she'd been abandoned by the man that she blamed for this crisis, who's gone without offering a solution.